Hello YouTube, this is Dakima2 from Dodge Them All. This is the third video in our semi trans tutorial series. And in our last video, we looked at setting up a new game. I brought you through setting up the settings for the game, which included creating a new map, choosing the map size, and then we set up a bus line. Today we're going to look at expanding that bus line and connecting the industries in our map. So, remember we started off in the city of Truro. We created uh, several stops, we created five. One, two, three, four, five, no, six, huh, <laughs> not five. Okay, so now these bus stops, they're going pretty well. As you can tell here, there are passengers that are in the vicinity of the bus stop, not necessarily at the bus stop. If they were at the bus stop, they would show up here. Another thing is that you can actually rename bus stops. So if I wanted to say this is the uh, West bus stop, I could do that right now and I would rename it just like that. So we can do that. Um, but today we're gonna look at expanding the bus line. And as you can tell here, there is a nearby city of Sim City. This is actually, I think, let's see. No, it's a, it's a medium sized city. So we're gonna expand to Sim City and we are going to expand to another city in the area which would be, how about we do SimCity up here? But as you can tell, there's no direct road connecting the three cities. So we're gonna build a road today. But first, let's look into expanding to SimCity over here. So, we have Truro here. We have Truro is a growing city, uh, six bus stops. And as you can tell here, if you look closely, you can see that there's a purple stick growing out of this green bar here. The purple stick tells you how many passengers are waiting at the station at that time. So right now, Truro West Bus Stop has a growing amount of passengers and it's still growing here as, it, as we can see here. And it has the most passengers waiting out of all the bus stops. So let's go over to Sim City here and Let's start building some bus stations. And to do this, we're gonna go into our road tools and do like we did in the last video with selecting the smallest passenger capacity bus station that there is available. So let's select uh, the 32 and we're going to put one, how about here? There's a lot of people over here. And one over here, oh, there we go. One in front of City Hall and one in this industrial district. Oop. You don't want that. Okay. So we've got that over and done with. Now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna build another bus depot. What we're going to do instead is we're gonna take buses from this to bus depot and create a second line that connects a major stop over here to a stop in Sim City. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's go to the bus garage and we're gonna select a bus that doesn't have that many passengers. So let's choose the same capacity bus that we did last time. And that was this red bus here. And we are going to actually add a mail trailer on the back of this because we're going to assume that there's gonna be mail coming back and forth between the cities. So let's do that. And just like we did with the last bus, we're going to need to create a separate line. So we're gonna to go to schedule here and we are going to come down here to city hall and put a bus stop here. And then we're going to come over here to SimCity City Hall and put a bus stop there. Now we are going to promote the bus to this line and it will be assigned to this line. After we do this, we can exit out and return to the bus station and we can now start the bus on the line. And we're just waiting for it to come and here it goes. We're gonna fast forward the game a little bit and follow the bus. As you can see, we're operating in the red right now, but we're assuming that we're gonna be in the black at some point. So we're gonna let this bus run. We're not gonna follow it anymore. 
we're going to assume that the line will grow further. Okay, so now we established an inner city bus line. But as you can see, I created bus stops in SimCity, assuming that we were going to draw in more passengers. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go to line management. We haven't used this yet. And we're going to actually create a new bus line. So go to the truck section. This is the same as bus. And we're going to create new line. We're going to click new line. And we're going to click on the stations that we added. So click on St. Benedict Church. This stop. City Hall stop. Curtain Row stop. And this stop here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use the copy backward function and it's going to simply take these stations and reverse them so that it goes in the reverse order. And now we're going to exit out. Now we're going to go to the bus depot so we're just going to go into the map here quickly and I'm going to go up here and we're going to go to the depot. We're going to purchase another bus, just like we did for Truro, and it will serve that small town. So we're going to choose this small bus here, and we're going to put it on the line that we just created. I'm struggling to remember which one it was. Here it is. And we're going to start the bus on this line. So now we have our station set up. So it looks like I'm out of time. We're having station overcrowding. In the next video, we're in the next video we're going to handle station overcrowding, and then we'll get into connecting industry. So thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and come back for our next tutorial, and be sure to follow Dodge Them All on Twitter and Facebook, and visit our Dodge Them All YouTube page. Steven and Alec, who run the main channel, do an awesome job at their gameplays. Please be sure to subscribe to both of us. Thank you all and see you later.